So, it was a long session concerned with limits, basics of limits. We understood what the limit is, what the limiting value of a particular function is. And we did about how to calculate whether a particular function has a limit at a particular value or no. Basic, we talked about what we meant by a function being determinate or indeterminate. Then we did about the basics of limits. We made you, we, you, we gave illustrations about how to find the concept of limit of a function for a certain value of x. Then we did questions based on avoiding indeterminate, which is basically meaning to see that denominator of a particular thing should not be equal to zero. Hence, you avoid indeterminate. Then we did problems on infinity, in which we said that as, uh, as you have infinity, when infinity you have, when some x tends to infinity, it means 1 by x tends to 0. Whenever x tends to infinity, 1 by x tends to 0. So we did all the problems in which we obtained the x terms in the denominator, hence we calculated the formula based problem. We did formulae like e raised to x minus 1 upon x, e raised to a raised to x minus 1 upon x, log of 1 plus x upon x and similarly to the various basis and all these various formula and of course a very important formula x raised to n minus a raised to n upon x minus a is equal to n a raised to n minus 1. This of course provided x is tending to a. All these are concerned with s approaching 0. Then we took up the concept of conditions for discontinuous. That is two major conditions when the left hand limit, right hand limit and the function value function of that particular function, the value of the function for a particular value of x only when the left hand limit, right hand limit and f for that value of x are equal. We say that the, con the particular function is continuous at that particular point of view. We also checked whether the limit exists or no, which also means here also we consider the concept of whether the function is determinate or no and checking whether a function is continuous or no. We will ample number of examples, quite a number of them are simple mechanical calculations. Please go through them and try them again and again. I am sure you will find it a very interesting topic. I hope it was an effective session. Thank you.